a little vlog for you. We've just taken Nala to the vets, haven't we? Yes, we have, and why are these on the floor? Have you been playing with these? Let's pop them back on here. Poor little doll things. There we go. Um, if any of you are completely out of the loop, Nala had her spay, um, not last Thursday, but the Thursday before, and after her spay, you got poorly, didn't you? Although it, we don't think it was directly linked to the spay. She just had a really bad tummy. So now she's got like shaved bits. What are you doing just resting your head on my leg? Oh, you're so cute. And she's got a little shaved bit under her neck and on her legs. And then this side is really super shaved because she had to have a scan. And they had to try and work out what was wrong with her. But you've been on antibiotics and she's all good now, touch wood. You're much better, aren't you? But it has been a very stressful week because we haven't had her here. She's been staying in the vets. So it's so nice to have her back. We got her back on Friday. So I've basically just been making the absolute most of having her back. And it really showed me how much I missed her um, and how weird this house was without her in it. Which just made me think like, what? What were our lives like before we had Nala? Look at her, just sat at the window, watching out. Who's outside? She's still got her harness on because we literally just got back from the vet. Watching the world go by. She's definitely back to her old self, that's for sure. Um, so Alfie is currently at the gym. I am signing, signing, signing. I have so many tip-ins, they're called tip-ins, Basically, um, as you guys know, I have sold a limited number of uh, signed editions of my book. And because the book hasn't been printed yet, they send me the front page to sign so that then I can send those back and they get put into the book when the printing process happens. So I am signing those and I have a lot to sign, so it's taking me a really long time. Um, and that is basically what my life has consisted of. A lot of you are like, where have you been? Why haven't you vlogged? And it's because every spare minute I've been either doing something with Nala or taking her to the vets or something because she's been so poorly or signing. And that's pretty much it. I've also been completely clearing out my house of clutter. I am quite a clutterer, a clutterer. Um, I don't realize I am, but uh, I am basically. And because of what I do, I get sent a lot of samples, like beauty samples and makeup samples. And not even just that anymore. Now I get kind of like house things and things for Nala. And very easily, I'm aware that there's too much stuff. So I bought a book called The Magic of Tidying, which I saw Lily Pebbles tweet about. Um, and I then watched Estee talk about it in a video. Um, and Alfie actually ordered it for me um, because I said something like Alfie would absolutely love me to read this in my head I was like obviously I'm not going to because <laughs> I don't I, I mean I don't know I didn't really think about reading it I just thought haha that's funny I'm a really untidy person and Alfie actually did order it for me and I read it in one day um, and since then I've really changed my perspective on having things in the house. I'm very sentimental. I always feel like everything I'm given, whether that's a free sample or something from a viewer or something from a friend or a family member, I feel like I have to keep it. Even if I've got four of them or I don't need it or it doesn't go in the house, I always feel like I have to find a place for it. And then before I know it, I'm emptying drawers and I'm like, wow, I had no idea I had this much stuff. I was gonna film it but I soon realized it was so ridiculous. What are you eating? Um, I soon realized it was so ridiculous that I couldn't show you. Like I was literally so embarrassed and so ashamed. I had let my beauty and makeup collection get so ridiculous. Um, so I put it into bags and bags and bags for um, charity shops, um, women's shelters, homeless shelters. And I've also let my friends have, have, a, little, have a little nosy. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. That's my little, my little rundown of what's been going on. And Nala is feeling much better and constantly looking for things to eat. Stop, what are you eating? No. Oh, oh my goodness. She's actually, so this room has been hoovered millions of times since Christmas and she's found a blooming Christmas tree needle. Where was that? You should be like a detective dog or something. No, a sniffer dog. That's what you should be. You should work at Gatwick or Heathrow and sniff out the pine needles. 
Let's just put that there. See? I'm so in instead of putting that in the bin, why have I put that there? No. Look at this little munchkin. Sleeping on me while I'm trying to work, aren't you? I'm tired. Oh, I just love her so much. Look at her little bald pack. Look at this big baby. Look at this big baby. Oh, is this nice, Nana? You've been carried like a baby. Is this your absolute dream? <laughs> She's like, don't disturb me. I'm completely relaxed in this cuddle. Oh my God. She's just being so cute. Oh, I can't take it. Oh, it's so bright. This is a t-shirt that literally arrived in the post this morning. And as I was gonna talk about the campaign, I really wanted to wear it because it is for the campaign I'm about to talk about. And I just really like the t-shirt. It's so comfy and lovely. Um, but uh, as you guys may or may not know, I receive a lot of kind of sponsorship opportunities, business opportunities. Um, things come through my um, email, email account every single day. 90% of it isn't something that interests me, would sit well on the channel, would benefit you guys in any way. But this was something totally different and I really, really loved this campaign and I really wanted to get behind it and share it with you guys. So the campaign is with Gap and it is called Girl. And the ambassador for that is Ellen DeGeneres. And it's been created to focus on girl empowerment and kind of just repping the females and basically just telling girls it's okay to, it's okay to do whatever they want to do, um, which I just thought was amazing because so often you can kind of get swept up in this world where you feel inferior or you feel like you should be doing something specific or you feel like you're not doing something right. And it's just a whole campaign support, basically to support um, girls to be who they are and to be who they want to be. And I just think that that's really amazing. So it's being done through an exclusive clothing range, which um, is in partnership with Ellen as she's just brought out her own range also. And I just want to show you some of the clothes because they are so cute. Let me find it. This is the, sorry, it's easier for me to just show you the site. These are the kind of stories and it's about empowering girls. You know, if you want to be a skateboarder, be a skateboarder and rock it. This is the t-shirt I am obsessed with. And though she be but little, she is fierce, William Shakespeare. I'm already hoping that this goes to a big enough kid size that I can actually get into it because I love it. The three main themes are confidence and self-image, reaching your potential and the power of gratitude. Um, and with those three things, I feel like girls could feel so much happier in themselves. I kind of just want to read you this because although I can try and sum it up in my own words and I can kind of add in my own personal feelings towards it, I was reading this which is kind of a little bit about the campaign and it really summed it up for me and I loved it so much. So I'm just going to read it to you because I feel like you guys would really enjoy this too. Let's laugh, let's share, let's sing out of tune and cheer out of sync. Let's speak out loud and listen closely. Let's break hearts and guitar strings, throw karate chops and blow kisses. Let's twirl and tumble. Let's be fearless when it comes to our future and care less when it comes to what people say about us. Let's strive and succeed at being true to our friends and ourselves. Let's be great 
and let's be grateful. Let's throw kindness around like confetti and wear confidence like camouflage. Let's colour in a rainbow and construct a fort. Let's wear dresses or jeans or dresses with jeans. Let's skateboard, let's dance. Let's be the best we can be. Let's not be anyone else but who we are. Let's be strong and confident, fun and fabulous, weird and wonderful, pink, blue or purple. Let's be exactly who we're supposed to be, individually ourselves. I just really, really like that. I kind of want to print it out and put it on my wall because even though this is kind of aimed towards younger girls who might be going through a bit of a confusing time, I feel like this is so relatable to a lot of people regardless of how old you are. And it's so easy to kind of lose yourself in how you feel you should be rather than acting upon who you want to be. And I think that's mainly the key message of this campaign is to kind of, it's for people to share their experiences, share their personal achievements, share things that they've always wanted to do but haven't been able to or haven't felt they can. So Gap have created a hashtag which is hashtag hey world. And it's basically, basically to encourage girls to share their stories and highlight the authentic and sometimes really emotional narratives um, about kind of what it means to be a girl. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box for you guys to go on over and read a little bit more about the campaign or grab yourself any of those clothes if you want to because they're pretty cool. I'm really excited to see you guys using the hashtag and kind of sharing your positive stories to inspire other girls and yeah, parting words. Just because you're a girl doesn't mean there's anything you can't do. 100%. High five. Love ya. What are you doing? Getting out my knots. <laughs> Explain what you're doing because they just think you're grinding a wall. Watch me whip. Now watch me nay nay. Okay. <laughs> Show so them what you're this doing. This is what I like to do to get my knots out. With Nala's little ball that she fetches. And it's the perfect size. You put it on the wall like this. Look at her looking at me like, uh... She's like, Mum, get off my toys. And then you get it behind your shoulder blade and you can kind of... <sighs> your face behind the camera! And we you... did this one that hold this today and in the gym. Get it I'll out! I'll show you. Ow! Oh. This one. Hold this. So you put it on your arm here. Wait, I can't see you. And then you go side to side. Oh, I bet that hurts. And there's some bits where it's like, let me do, it let me try. really hurts. The ball, that ball's not too hard though. So up on your arm here, and then go side to side. It's like crunching. Yeah, it's not meant to crunch, is it? Nala. She's licking the wall. Look at her guilty face. No, 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 no. Oh. <gasps> What's this? What is it? What is it? Get it! I'll get them out. I'm now at Alfie's mum and dad's house with Pop and Bud. <laughs> Look at him just really looking at. And Sean. <laughs> For God's sake. Hey. I should have learned from like Alfie's last vlog. Like stop with the faces. Yeah, Never stop with the faces. Hey. Um, we just watched a film called The Help. The Help whilst I signed this massive pile of books. Um, and that was really good actually. I didn't see the start, but I really want to watch the start now. We only caught the end. Why are they both barking? It's because the Simpsons are on. She's so annoyed at the Simpsons. What is it, Nala? Hey, it's just the Simpsons, okay? They're not gonna hurt you. Look at this little bold patch. We have just ordered a Wagamama, so I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat it all. I'm gonna eat it all. What is it? That's gonna eat it all. Hello, Buzzy. Did you want to come and be on the camera? No, oh, you want the treat box. <laughs> What's wrong? Why can't you handle life right now? Little bird chicken? <laughs> Sean? No bird chicken! <laughs> I just ordered something on Amazon that I didn't actually mean to. <laughs> what did you order? I don't know, let me yeah. check. <laughs> did you do one click buy? I just had something in my basket and I accidentally clicked, yeah. What was it? I can't, I can't get on it. 
I need to know. We orders. all need to know now. Three, three times. T T G bedhead men mat separation <laughs> workable wax. What? I do need some gel. What? I must have put it in my basket ages ago. So three of them. Three of them. Can you? Can you cancel it? No, I genuinely need some wax. So I'm not. Well <laughs> I'm gonna have to end up buying them eventually anyway. Oh May as well stock up. <laughs> oh. Stop barking at the television! Wagga mama, wagga wagga mama, wagga mama. Uh, don't lick the packaging. <laughs> what is this? Is that your one? Yes. Something smells fishy. Maybe my one. Is it you? Are you fishy? Mmm. Look, I ate. So, what kind of price? What did you win? You went to the table. Was that fun? Have you found a little space to hide? <laughs> Look at that little face. I was not going to have it. I thought maybe he said his bar was broken into. The fuck has nicked all his clothes? I reckon he'd be interested. I thought that'd be amazing. Thanks so much. No problem, mate. Oh. Okay, so it's much later on now, and me and Nala Bear are chilling. She's so tired. Um, I have been at Alfie's mum and dad's. Alfie is downstairs, but I've come up to bed because I'm so tired. Um, and clearly Nala feels the same. So I think I'm going to go to sleep now. But oh my goodness, I'm ending a vlog. This very rarely happens. Um. So thank you so much for watching. Give the vlog a thumbs up if you would be so kind. Don't have to. It's just nice, isn't it? I love you guys a lot and I'll see you again very soon.